KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. This video is about the requirement opportunity for M Plan graduates. There has been a recent announcement, an official notification released by NRSC, which is one of the centers of ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. And the name of this particular vacancy, it is scientist or engineer post or with the specialization of urban studies. This is for those students who have a master's in planning. There are a total of six vacancies. And in this video, we will go through the complete details of this notification relevant for architects and planners with an M-Plan graduation, particularly uh, the important dates, the pay scale, the number of vacancies, the syllabus, the selection criteria, and how we at KP Get Classes have prepared a course particularly for this examination to help you clear this exam. The link for the preparatory course for NRSC Urban Studies is given in the description of this video. You can check out that link to go through our course details and the course structure, which includes uh, the recorded lectures along with books and also along with study material and also test series. So go through that uh, course link to know more about the course. Uh, so let me first take you through the details as for the as, as per the official notification. If you look into the name of the post, like I said, the name of the post it is engineer or uh, scientist SE post code is 24 which uh, will uh, because there are many other posts also in the same notification we will be going through the post code of 24 and the details of it in the further slides as well the specialization is urban studies like i said there are a total of six vacancies uh, like i mentioned earlier and the essential qualifications now that is important for you to note what is the requirement of educational qualification masters in urban planning or regional planning or equivalent in this context only planning masters in planning is considered as an equivalent not some other specialization so basically masters in urban planning regional planning or any other equivalent department so in simple terms and plan and bachelors also in planning or bachelors in architecture B plan or BR graduates with the masters in planning are eligible for this particular post and this will be a level 10 post with uh, as per the seventh pay commission uh, within this pay band of 56 100 to 1 lakh 77,500 so that's the pay band for the search so like the entry uh, post the maximum uh, level of uh, government jobs at the entry level that's the post that's the uh, that's the pay scale for this post as well as far as the details of the uh, uh, eligibility criteria are considered so as per the specialization we had a discussion on that you need to have masters in planning and bachelors also in planning or in architecture as far as the eligibility criteria there are requirements there is a minimum criteria for the qualifying degree at both masters and bachelors level at masters level you will need to have at least 60 percent if your in university is giving you percentage it is minimum of 60 percent um, and if it is cgp uh, cgpa based uh, result which you get from your university the minimum criteria 6.5 on a scale of 10 by chance if your university gives both percentage and CGPA then any one of it has to at least meet this criteria however no conversion formula as per the official notification no conversion formula will be employed whatever is written on your degree certificate either 6.5 CGPA or 60 percent uh, so that's the minimum criteria for masters at bachelor's level you need to have at least 65 percent of your university gives you percentage based scoring if it is cgpi based scoring it should be at least 6.84 so you have to meet these qualification uh, criteria for both for both bachelors and masters it's not just one you need to meet the criteria for both that said students who are pursuing m plan even if they are in the final semester right now they are eligible to apply as per the notification you can apply for this particular post even if you're in the final semester of your uh, m plan course and if your course is about to be completed in this academic year of 2024 2025 you can still apply the only uh, condition here is that you need to have your degree within this date cutoff date of 
31st of August. Make a note of it. This cutoff date is only for your qualification that is M plan. You need to have an M plan degree before 31st of August 2025. However, the cutoff date for age is different. It is the last date of the notification. We'll talk about the important dates uh, moving ahead. So, as far as the age criteria, now there is a uh, there is a limitation on the age criteria as well. We are going to look into the post code of 24. That's for urban studies uh, is scientist post so that uh, the age criteria minimum should be 18 years and the maximum age criteria is 30 years as per the official notification as far as the important dates are considered now that's very important no, you need no, you should not wait till the last moment this because it is a very good opportunity for m plan graduates a high number of applicants are expected just like last year even last year nrsc has recruited planners Mas those who have masters in planning for the same for the same post basically uh, so this year as well but last year there were only three vacancies this time it is an increased number so six vacancies uh, the registration has begun from 10th of may uh, from morning 10 o'clock the cutoff time for your application is 30th of may so you have to complete uh, this age criteria also it has to be you will need to be within 30 years uh, by this particular cutoff date so that's the cutoff date for all other aspects other than the educational qualification so 35 2025 before evening 5 o'clock so it's not even some in some uh, requirement uh, application portals the cutoff time will generally be till midnight but make a note here it is not till midnight it is just till evening five o'clock so remember don't wait till the last moment you can check regular updates on the nrsc website which is uh, visible over here so that's with respect to the age criteria and the important dates now coming to the most important aspect the selection procedure how are they going to record uh, scientist cadder for the urban studies specialization the selection would be based on two stages basically an interview and a written test both for 100 marks as per the official notification the final selection weightage will be 50 percent for written test 50 percent for interview unlike most of the other special other requirement processes even in the upsc's case generally written test is given a higher weightage of 75 percent 25 percent for interview but here both have equal weightage 50 percent weightage is for interview 50 percent weightage is for written test as well now within this written test so it is 100 marks of written test test 50 percent of that uh, will be taken as the criteria for the selection similarly interview is also for 100 marks 50 percent of it will be taken for the final score calculation there is also a minimum threshold which you have to qualify so you need to at least score 50 out of 100 marks in the written test to be eligible for the next stage of interview View. as per the note you can check all these details uh, in the no detailed notification as well uh, in the description of this video you have the course nrsc uh, urban studies course launched by us kp classes in that course you also have the official notification pdf included so you can also check the official notification from our course on the mobile app kp gate classes mobile app itself the link for the course is given in the description like i said uh, the question paper template basically for the written test particularly those 100 marks there are three parts in it there is part A, B and C. Our course, like I said, we have launched a course. It includes the syllabus for all the three parts, part A, B and C. However, the syllabus for part A and part C is same actually. It is, it is basically the area or discipline specific part, which is basically the topics of urban planning. Part B is general aptitude. Part C is descriptive question, but with the same syllabus of part A. So the concepts you need to study are same for part A and part C. As far as the marks criteria and the time duration is considered, part A will have a total of 60 MCQ questions with a weightage of 60 marks. So our postcode is 24, so I'm just talking about it. You, you can forget about these postcode 20 to 23, that's for other specializations. For postcode of 24, which we are discussing, there are 60 MCQs in part A, which will be for 60 marks, basically one mark per question. And there is a negative marking of 0 0.33 for every incorrect attempt. And the time duration you will have for part A will be 75 minutes. That's the detail of part A. Moving on to part A, part B, there will be a total of 15 questions, again MCQ questions of uh, 15 MCQ questions. The total duration for that will be 30 minutes and the marks for it will be 20 marks. So basically 60 marks for part A, 20 marks for part B which will include general aptitude and mental ability reasoning basically. And part C which is a descriptive part again that also will be a half an hour test. 
again that also will have a same weightage of 20 marks so it's like 60 20 and 20 the time duration is 75 minutes 30 minutes and 30 minutes so uh, that's the uh, time duration so the total exam will be for 2 hour 15 minutes of time basically and uh, the total weightage as i said it is 60 plus 20 plus 20 that is 100 marks uh, part a and part b are completely mcq based part c is descriptive question where it is it will be a lengthy theoretical type of question where you need to write with a pen and paper the syllabus is same as part a it is basically the specialization specific discipline specific part coming to the syllabus now you see they are not just testing you through mcqs there are descriptive questions also and in order to do well in the descriptive part it is very important that you have a conceptual approach in your preparation with 100% syllabus coverage that is going to be very crucial in your selection for this examination don't think that okay let's leave it's only for 20 marks no every mark will be of crucial importance when you are uh, when they create a selection list at the final round as far as the syllabus is considered this is an overview of the syllabus for the part a and c that is specialization specific part which includes the topics of regional and settlement planning database maps plan preparation and analysis surveying and geoinformatics demographic and statistics in planning environmental planning design then you have urban planning urban design landscape and conservation utilities and survey, uh, services planning including water supply sewage treatment solid waste management then you have transport planning housing and community planning uh, city planning then you have metropolitan planning and development and management planning organization and finally some topics of architecture including topics like uh, acoustics for instance so some topics of architecture building basics of building materials basics of building construction basics of concrete basics of acoustics are all included in the course uh, in the syllabus that's about part a and c that is descriptive question paper and also the 75 minutes m60 mcq uh, questions paper as far as the part b the 20 marks uh, half an hour test for general aptitude is considered for that you have numerical reasoning logical reasoning diagrammatic reasoning abstract reasoning and deductive reasoning in, in a nutshell it includes quantitative aptitude that's basically basic numerical reasoning including topics like profit and loss ratio proportion speed and distance etc and also reasoning um, reasoning also out of various like you have logical reasoning diagrammatic reasoning like for instance you have mirror images what are, all that comes under diagrammatic reasoning all these topics there can be 20 questions from it uh, for half an hour 20 marks i think it is right 15 questions 20 marks half an hour of time that's for part b and these are the topics included in the syllabus for part b uh, if i take you through the overview of our course the link for the course like i said is given in the description you can check out the course link if you look into the course details uh, you can check out the details of the course first over here the overview of it the content the course description you can also read about that and also the content included in the folders in, uh, provided for you in the preparation of the course is all included you can check in this course link and also subscribe to it if you want to prepare for this particular examination with 100% thorough syllabus coverage. I hope this video was helpful for you. Whenever there is a further update with respect to various jobs in the government sector for architects and planners, we will bring you such detailed videos for notification even in the future. Thank you.